Good afternoon YouTube. This is the Pond Diver back with another real life DIY. Today we're going to be using some lattice to build some privacy. Let's get into the build. So this started off quite a while back when I had a grill and then I got another grill and then I got a gazebo and then I needed a place to put everything. So I built a deck and then the gazebo wasn't big enough. So then I stepped up to a huge gazebo and now when I'm up on the deck, I can see directly into my neighbor's yard. Both of us probably feel that's a little invading. So I need something there to kind of create a boundary and lattice is an excellent way to do it. Whenever you're choosing lattice like this, you need to decide how much privacy you want. I got the ultra privacy, which is the lattice is very tightly woven or you can get the wider lattice where you can clearly see through it. I just wanted a little bit more in the way of privacy. So it's a very simple design. Basically, it comes down to three components. I have three four by four posts, one sheet of lattice in which I rip right down the middle in 24 inches. So uh, in, our, in our subdivision, we have covenants here. You cannot have a fence that's taller than eight feet. I have six foot verticals and with a two foot lattice partition that makes a total of eight feet which gives me two additional feet like i said and then i use two by fours as a frame around that but the reason why i use two by fours is i was able to rip those on the table saw and it saved quite a bit in the way of money instead of me going and purchasing one by threes or two by twos something like that i went ahead and made my own and I was able to save quite a bit of that. So there's going to be some naysayers out there saying, why aren't you using treated? Well, the posts are treated, but I guarantee you there's not a treated board on your house. As long as you're painting or staining or sealing this wood and you do it regular, just like you would do your house, then you won't have any problems at all. So yes, I use regular stud grade pine wood and I don't expect any problems out of it whatsoever. So I did use two types of stain for the for the frame, I used Cedar Thompson's Weather Seal Signature Series. I used uh, two cans of Hellman's Aerosol, front and back, multiple coats on each side. So like I said, the design is very easy. I started off with three components, the post, the frame, and the lattice itself. I built the side frames first. Once I had it into the area that I wanted to, all I had to do was stand it upright and then mount the bottom and the top. Now, if you know me, you know I love putting lights on everything I possibly can. Not that I'm scared of the dark, but I love a lot of ambient lighting. To me, it helps set the mood. You know, whether it's on a cool evening or a warm summer evening, I like ambient lighting. So, of course, I had to add some little lanterns to these posts. Now, I did not film that. I chose not to because I'm not a licensed electrician, and I don't want anyone in YouTube land saying, Real Life Review said do this. Anytime I'm up on the deck cooking, which is all the time, I have that natural barrier between my neighbor and I. It's not to be rude, but it's there to just give us some privacy and to give us a little bit more ambient lighting. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about anything I've made in this video, go ahead and drop them down in the comments section. I do reply to everything I get. And I hope this video helped you out in some kind of way. Now, if you like things like DIYs, real life reviews, cooks, things of that nature, then you're certainly in the right place. I encourage you to click that bell and subscribe for weekly updates. Until next week, this is Real Life DIY.